already on me. Carolyn Stafford's drive through was flooded out last week. She estimates the losses are nearly $200,000. Many in Maple Creek are in the same boat, but on that side of the provincial boundary, financial assistance has begun. 150 people have been given $3,000 to begin getting their lives back together. Those like Carolyn, who haven't got it yet, can still apply. And the provincial response seems to be scoring points with the people. Well, so far, I think it's... I mean, what they're telling me, it's going to be good. I thought it was uh, really good. I talk pretty much every day with the Premier's office. They phone, uh, and then other different cabinet departments there with PDAP and all those. So they've done a wonderful job at, at keeping in contact with us. A sentiment that's not necessarily echoed on the Alberta side of the border. I think the government really should be stepping up to the plate here. There should be people coming here, not flying over in an airplane, and saying, yes, we are going to help you. Anything to put these people at mind? anything. $3,000 to one family would be a lot right now when there is nothing. Could he put interim funding out as, as Saskatchewan did? Well, th there isn't a provision for that. Cypress Medicine Hat MLA Len Mitzel says he understands the frustration, but the difference is based on provincial standards. He says after this three grand, residents in Saskatchewan will have to foot the bill and then be reimbursed. In Alberta, it's on the estimates and you'll get everything. Up front. Sure, it's not coming in last Friday or it's not coming in, you know, today. It'll be in within a couple of weeks. And while it could be a month since the flooding before any money comes down, people are still encouraged to begin repairs. Go ahead and keep doing their cleanup to try and get their lives back in order. Document everything. Keep all of their, their receipts. Monetary figures aside, there's another difference in the response in the two provinces. Saskatchewan Premier Brad Wall was on the ground in the Maple Creek flood zone 24 hours after it happened. Albertans, meantime, are still waiting for a visit from Ed Stelmack. Does the Premier have any plans to come down here? He's discussing it, yes. Yeah. Any time frame for that? Not at the moment. It's little comfort to Albertans who will be waiting at least two more weeks for disaster relief funding. Riley Carlson, Chat News.